ready when you are. <clears throat> when I started out as a commentator, the research game was pretty one-dimensional. But wow, has that ever changed with microfluidics? Microfluidics is a manipulation of small volumes of liquid. It brings the game down to a smaller, more precise and more intense scale. It is creating a real buzz and is becoming an important field of scientific research with intense action taking place in the microbioreactor. We are here at a training complex where microfluidic coaches put new tactics into action to stay on top of this scaled down game. Since the rescaling of stadiums with the reduced space on the field, mm -hmm. teams play in closer proximity. This means more tackles and action at a lightning fast pace. Did coaches have to deal with this in the slow old macro stadium days? Never. Does it present new challenges? You bet. Take new conditions like laminar flow, a core principle of microfluidics that forces the players to play a more organized and precise game. This coach has players moving in perfect parallel formation, a slick display of undisrupted laminar flow. Ready for the tackling now. And look at that, absolute control of collisions. Mixing and the speed it takes place at is an essential part of the game. And this coach has it sorted. Oh, super. Let's go back and see more advantages of the new game. Resources were expensive with the macro. Now it's cheaper and there's less wastage. Before, it was one game at a time. Now with parallelization, there is a feast of action with many games going on simultaneously. Experimental macro play was slow. Results took ages. The speedy microfluidics game brings faster and more reliable results. Micro systems are much safer and better organized. Yeah. It's a breeze yeah. for coaches to control whole teams at once, and the smaller mm. scale provides the perfect training ground for smooth heat transfers uh. between players. Ooh. In the macro days, similar tackles could easily escalate into dangerous and chaotic situations. This results in less chance of injuries for those involved. And new tools like computer simulated games help coaches predict and adjust to scenarios that might occur in a microbioreactor. But we all know that microfluidics is more than just a game. It's the products that come out of the microbioreactors that are what's really important. Countless applications beneficial to humankind. New medicines and devices that improve the lives of people with medical conditions or solutions to solve our pressing environmental problems such as greener energy and cleaner drinking water. Microfluidics even helps us saving our little mates since it reduces animal testing. This is the future and that's why I am not only a commentator, I am a fan.